everyone, I'm Audrey McDonald from Songs from a Suitcase, also known as The Singing Scientist. And today we're gonna go over another video. Yes, I'm slightly obsessed from Tick Tick Boom called Why. Now I have done several Tick Tick Boom videos and if you see one of them up there that you haven't been able to watch on YouTube, that's because it's on my Patreon. You get to check out on my Patreon early release videos. The moment they are done being edited, they go into my Patreon and you have access to it. You also have access to my watch parties, which I did a Tick Tick Boom watch party and I will admit I cried a lot. <laughs> it was so good, which also created my obsession as to why I am back with more reaction reviews. Now, I have to also give a shout out to my newest members of the Karaoke Club. I have Ivania Rivero and Chloe Canero. Oh, that rhymed, yay! If you would like to learn how to sing better and you don't know where to start, start in the karaoke club with master classes, live events, as well as an amazing community there to kind of build you up together. The karaoke club is the place for you. And you can check that out by going to singwithaudrey.com. Now, let's sing something. La la la. Oh, it's the clock, it's the clock. I really like that part in this movie was the addition of the clock to feel like his time is running out. Now, is it true that there was a random piano here? Because that was one of my questions, because it just seems random. Oh, and the clock's speeding up. <gasps> and this is right after the scene that I was crying like a baby, and I'm probably gonna cry again. Thanks, you guys. just took that moment. Is this really him playing piano? When I was nine, Michael and I entered a talent show down at the And so gentle. I couldn't sing. I said, no one cares. <laughs> we sang Yellow Bird. Oh. And let's go fly a kite over and over and over till we got it right. Oh. That resolution there is beautiful. It just feels that tension and then it releases. I don't even know where to start with how amazing he is with his vocals and his vocal choices. For him to be so soft and gentle, and yet he's combining in a crying feeling. Yet, all at the same time, he's in pitch and it's not overboard. I feel like a lot of times when singers are crying and singing, sometimes can shift too much into crying and, and, and it doesn't have that balance. This is like that perfect balance where you're feeling it, yet it still sounds amazing. When we emerged from the YMCA, three o'clock sun had made the grass. So gentle. I thought, hey, what a way to spend the day. How do you not cry through this? Hey, what a way to spend the day. I make a vow in the build right here and now. I'm gonna spend my time this way. Ugh. You can hear as he's building into this, 
his nose is slightly plugged, but that's because he's cry singing. But it still sounds amazing. And he's softening these high notes. And it's so difficult already. But then to add in this texture of crying and to keep his volume low, it blows my mind. It absolutely blows my mind. I found out that he got an award this evening. That's when I filmed this. Well deserved. Well deserved. Can we please see him in more musicals? I was 16. Michael and I <laughs> got parts in West Side at White Plains High. Three o'clock went to rehearse in the gym. Mike played Doc, who did not sing. Fine with him. We sang, got a rocket in your pocket and the jets are gonna have their day tonight over and over and over till we got it right that's when hard right there emerged. this has got to be live you guys i really do think this is live and maybe they took several different takes and then they cut it it doesn't sound like it was pre-recorded like some of the other ones could have been and that he's doing the right you could hear him pop it up into that nasal pharynx on that shift right as he goes into the second half yet at the same time he's crying and, and you just feel it so when you're crying and you're singing your throat tightens up that's why you feel like everything gets smaller and shrunken in that's the worst thing that you can do when you're singing because it closes up the passageway and yet he's having this beautiful balance between the two wiped out by that plane nine o'clock stars and no one led the way I thought, hey, what a way to spend a day Hey, what a way to spend a day right. I made a vow I wonder now oh, Am I Spend my time this way. I'm 29. Michael and I. These dynamics are just live incredible. On the west side of Soho and Y. Nine o'clock, I write a lyric or two. Oh, Mike sings his song on Mad Avenue. Beyond the singing is the idea of, uh, how are we even gonna cry on this? Oh, dang it, you guys. <sighs> it's that he makes a vow right there, right here and now, that he's not gonna give up on it. And you just think about like, what if he did? And then we wouldn't have rent and we wouldn't have these beautiful musicals. And I cried like a baby when I did that watch party because of all the people that have died from AIDS and everything that happened. And there's so much beauty in this song telling his story. And I think it's important for people to not give up on their singing. And as a singing teacher, I get so many students that were told they were bad or they were told no. And it just crushes their dreams and they just give up and... It's one of the saddest things because there's just such beauty in singing and freedom and expression and it's something that we need to have. And I just, I love that he's declaring that he won't give up on that. Think you can't sing, but wish you knew how? Join our live masterclasses in the karaoke club with mixed belting, breath support, high notes. Members vote on a new masterclass every single month. Sing along with us in the karaoke club. La la la! I sing, come to your senses. Defenses are My not the way to world. go. Oh, 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 over and over and over and over and over and over and over till I get it. Diner call.
thoughts. I'm on my <laughs> way. As he builds in that bold, and then he I goes to the gentle, it just reels you in. What a way to spend a day. As he's growing with his dynamics, so are his emotions. And he is doing this beautiful version of building it as he opens up his throat and he allows this dimension to come out. And then he goes into the soft inner spoken feel. And what it does is it makes you lean in. So when someone, sorry, my nose is all running because you guys made me cry and now I look all funny. But whatever, it's for the art. What was I saying? <laughs> when someone's really loud and they're singing and they have that bold dynamic and then they go to the soft spoken, we naturally lean in. We wanna know what they're saying. And so it creates this pull with the audience and he has this perfected. Hey, what a way to spend a day. Hey, I make a vow. Good chord connection. Right here and now. I'm gonna spend my time <laughs> God, such a good movie.